Um, <clears throat> so in the backlog, say, same thing, you have product backlog and sprint backlog, okay? So I can add a bunch of requirements here as part of my issue. I can say create issue. So what is my second requirement? What is the loan calculator requirement? Do, does anybody remember? All right, so calculate monthly loan payment based on three different levels. Predefined calculation. Uh, can you predefined calculation and uh, loan amount and given loan amount, right? I'm just uh, creating that requirement. Um, what else is uh, our requirement? W one more, one more requirement. Uh, so I have that here, ability to search lender by lender name. Dealer can search and view only their credit. Okay, dealer can search and view only their credit application. Dealer, dealer or lender? Can approve or reject credit application assigned to them, assigned to them, okay? All right, so four, four requirements are good enough, yeah. right? Yeah, if you have more test cases, add, add more, all right? But so these four requirements are there. Um, they are front part of my sprint. Basically, I created the sprint here and I have four requirements here. So if I go into any of this requirement, how do I add my test case, right? Because that's the important part. Mm -hmm. So once you log in, you access the sprint backlog. This is your sprint backlog. This is your product backlog. Th th these are other items which are not part of the sprint, basically. I can have it. So I can have 50 other stories which are not part of my sprint. This is my current sprint, 17 September to 1st October. Right? This is my current sprint, and I have four requirements. Everything is by itself, like the backlog. No, so what, what happens is like I can let me put this here. There is no story name. Okay, so this is these are stories. This is these are my stories. So assume I have this uh, just added requirements as part of my backlog, right? Okay. If I want to pull it in the sprint, I can just simply drag and drop oh. and put it in there. Okay. So now I have two stories. This is the one more story. I have it. Okay. So this tool has a little bit more flexibility um, to for drag and drop and other things. All right. So this my story has uh, my sprint has four stories. Okay. Now I can go in there um, or let me go in into this loan calculator. Okay. And I can see it here on the left side. Now I could have more description, right? Business analyst will add more description and so forth. Okay, so this is a more like a backlog view I'm looking at. If I go into my board, I should see those four stories as part of my sprint, okay? Which I can see here, okay? Because I just added them into my uh, sprint backlog. Now, where do I enter? Where do I create my test cases? That's the important part, right? So here I can open each story. Okay. Again, it's a similar to what, what I saw earlier. And I should be able to add my test cases right from this story here. See if I can add it. Where do I add it? Where do I add it? Okay. So I don't see any place here. Uh, let's see. Where is my test case? All right. There are some plot signs. Yes. This is a uh, close. No, no, the three, three dots. Here? No, the no there, is a way, there is a way to add it. Yes. Now here, now in the in this tool, uh, there is a Zephyr scale, mm -hmm. uh, which is a test management tool. Okay. So I can add my test cases directly from here, link it. So let me go there, Zephyr scale, so that you understand what I'm talking about. So it's pulling up here, okay? So I can create all my test cases uh, from here, new test case, and then link to my story. But there is a way to create it from my board as well, 
okay, from the story itself, just like our flow, you uh, keep on adding uh, more test cases, right? So that's what I'm trying to find out here. Arshal, just go ahead and open it and see you say there is a search of fire scale right there. Try to see it from there, right? So you can create a test case so right there. This, it just uh, came up here at the bottom and I can create a new test case. It will take me back to the other screen as well. Okay. Right, but it, it will automatically connect it to the story. It will automatically connect to this particular story. Yeah. The other way around, you can uh, go there and then link back. To the story. Right. Okay, so it took me the fire scale, but uh, let's see uh, what it pulls up, right? So it's still loading on my machine. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so now you can see here what is your test case. This is a loan calculator one, right? So um, ability to cal uh, to calculate monthly loan payment with valid loan amount. Valid loan amount greater than or equal to zero or greater than zero, right? This is yeah. my scenario. Now I'm creating the different test cases. Little... Go ahead and click on traceability. Oh, here, traceability. Yeah, that's where, see, that's where the connection came in. So this is where it automatically links because I came from the story to uh, create the test case. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. you can always click on add and you can link it to the story. You're gonna see there you go. story here, basically. That, that one is creating it, Herschel. It's creating a new story. And they're creating it. Yeah. Um, but you, you can always kind of do that that way. There you go, search issue, and then you can add it to it. Yeah, uh, otherwise you can search it here. But anyway, right. we'll come back to that. Uh, let me just come here, see, go back to the details, right? Right. This is our scenario. Now here in this tool, you have a precondition uh, step that you can uh, type it in. In the Azure DevOps, you did not have it, right? But here, so this is uh, what is the monthly load amount. So here, who are you logging in as? Dealer, right? So dealer account, uh, dealer G training exists in the system. This is my precondition, okay? G training uh, and so forth. Anything else, no precondition, right? Other than that, this guy exists and he has access to the load calculator. Now, where do I enter my steps? That's where you go to the test scripts and you're gonna see it here. Again, it's no brainer, repeating the same process, what you did and tool is tool, where you go input, that's all it matters. So log in as G training dealer, uh, as space, um, now here you have a test data you can specify right at the step. You can say G training um, as username and training as password. What is it? Yeah, so this is the password. Training is password, right? G training as a username uh, and this, this one as password. This is my test data, so it will show up right there. Now, what is your expected result? I am on, I am logged in. Then and on dealer homepage. Okay, again, whatever language you write, that's uh, that works for you. Now I have to click on add step, or you can say do tab. Tab will add a second step as well. Okay, now access loan calculator function, okay, there is no test data here. Um, I am on loan calculator page. Okay, I'm tabbing, enter 1000 as a loan amount. Again, you can say enter loan amount and say 1000 here, it's perfectly fine. Or you can just say enter 1000 as loan amount um, and click calculate and calculate monthly payment. What is your expected outcome? See 30 um, as a loan payment, monthly loan payment. Okay, so at this point, I'm done with my test case. I'm gonna save it. Okay. 
All right. And let's um, go back to our requirement here. So I'm going to board. I'm uh, going to pull up the requirement here. Okay, this is the view I was expecting earlier. It wasn't popping up, but I should see my test case right here, right? So coverage, so I can see one test case listed here. Okay, uh, and uh, you can see the detail. It pops up another, no executions yet, which is fine. But start a new test execution. So again, you can do it right from here and it will take you for the, executing the test case. So again, it, it it pops up another window, who is executing it, blah, 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 all those things, click on start. There are a bunch of windows here, okay? So you need to get familiar with the tool, where you execute and how it works and so forth. All right, so now I'm in the execution mode for the test case. And again, you need to follow your own steps. Okay, so you log in, open the browser, log in, you're gonna say pass. Second step, pass, and this one, pass. Again, you are following the steps. So you actually go to the Airflow site. There is no automation, right? Still no automation. You are entering the information, following the steps. Let's say you fail the third step. So what, what is it here? How do I create a defect, right? So there is a, this icon is for defect here. So let's say uh, when I click on it, it says create an issue and uh, you create it right there. Right? So this is where, uh, and you make sure you select the issue type as a bug. Okay, issue type as a bug, okay. Um, then here, whatever you type in uh, failed as invalid calculation, uh, loan amount display, monthly payment display, right? And you attach a screenshot, you have everything, or you can copy paste certain things as well. Let me use the SNP tool. I'm going to use it. And yeah, let's see if I, Again, this part is no brainer, right? I mean, uh, it's uh, it's the same thing what you are doing and I'm gonna copy it, oh, not save it and see if I can put it. Okay, um, yeah. What is it? It's almost same. It's almost same, right? This software yeah. is the same. It's exactly the same thing you are doing um, and create and that 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 point, your test case is done. Okay, uh, execution is done. Basically, so can we go to the board? To see yeah, we can go to the board. Right, so you don't see it here, but it will be visible in the background. Okay, because it says you now. If somebody is working on it, you probably want to put in the sp same sprint, so that they can fix it. Okay, confirm. And if I go on the board. I will see that issue being listed. Now, if the developer says, oh, let me work through it. So he's gonna, he's gonna move it to the progress here. Oh, and then he will move it to the done, once he's done. And what is that class button over there after the done? Oh, this one is just the additional status columns. So like, as I said, you can configure everything in the statuses, what is done in progress, put a testing, UAT pending or whatever you want. Right. So this is a UAT column. So I can put it before done, I can put it to the UAT or user acceptance testing. Right? It's just, just a status is you can configure that you have. Right? I can have a testing. And this defect is in the testing status. Right? Yep. Right now. Again, process remains same. There is no agile change here, just the tool is different. Mm -hmm. Does it make sense, right? It's a no-brainer, right? I mean, uh, this thing, you, you're gonna take a look at some other tool tomorrow and they exactly same. Well, uh, that's for the developers. You are not doing that. 
you are not doing the test. I mean, you are doing testing, but uh, developers is writing. The developers are writing code, not you. Have we talked about coding here? No. Oh. But again, you are not creating from scratch, right? Tool is doing it for you. You are inputting, uh, modifying it, and uh, running it. So, all right, so what questions you guys have? Let's talk about No, no, it's, it's in the cloud. So you should have received the email, yeah. right? I granted you access to the same project, so you will be able to see it um, and uh, work through at least a couple of test cases. And you can see what I'm doing, right? Yes, this one I can see. Right. So you guys want to practice here? See, me, see if you can get in the tool, yeah. right? At least uh, sometime, maybe to try. To, let's, let's see if you can access the tool, right? And make sure you save the URL. As well. Otherwise, you will forget. So look for the email that, that I sent you, right? And uh, 